Awesome. Hi, guys. I am live. This is so funny. I've never done it on my computer. I like this. This makes it way easier. Um, so I wanted to go live today because I haven't been live for a while. And I also wanted to talk about right voice for you. I am so excited. Um, I'm becoming a facilitator in December and I'm really looking forward to this new journey and adventure in the world. Um, right voice for you has um, changed my life. Um, when I, I have to say I have nothing but wonderful things to say about Chris Hughes. He is an amazing facilitator of Right Voice for You. He's just an amazing facilitator and an amazing man. And um, he has inspired me dynamically with Right Voice for You and has created this wonderful, wonderful um, possibility with everybody who comes to Right Voice for You. And um, so with Right Voice for You, um, oh gosh, when I took that class, I went from being a sniveling, skeevering, terrified um, announcement giver at classes to somebody who really, really, I felt so confident and so myself and so present and so totally comfortable giving announcements at access classes. And um, I mean, it, it just has changed so much for me. and. Um, so in December, I'm embarking on this journey, and um, and I am excited to travel all over the world and to do this class. Um, and it pairs nicely with Anthony, my husband's three-day body classes. So I'm sure we'll have lots of back-to-back -back right voice for you classes with three-day body classes. Um, oh, and Alan just posted the link. Thanks, Alan. Um, but Anthony... Um, Anthony and I have class already for April in um, in Delhi, India. Um, I'm going to be doing Right Voice in Saskatoon, Canada. I'm going to be, um, we're talking about doing a Right Voice in Edmonton, um, all over the world. And um, I'm just so excited about it. And, and because I know what it's changed for me, and I know what is possible when we actually get to be the gift that we are in the world and we get to have our voice in the world and that is something that i have have been willing to have but there are certain things that you have to be and receive in order to truly be you in the world um, and to be willing to be judged and to be willing to be different and to be willing to not be to be you and not be like others and I just love it um so Alan is asking what do you do in a right voice class um that's a really good question um it totally varies and it's totally based on the class um but one of the things that I would like to have in all of the right voice classes that I do is some form of a stage. Um, even if I have to build it myself in my wood shop the night before, um, I, I like that because it, it does bring up something for people to go onto a stage. And, um, you know, it, I mean, it really goes where you want it to go. But some of the things that right voice does cover is, you know, announcements writing books, um, putting your classes out into the world, how you be with your business, you know, how you be with all of these different things that, you know, <laughs> oh, it's so weird. I've been sneezing on all my classes lately. It's like, what's going on? Um, but it's just like, there's so many different things that Right Voice for You covers, and there's so much magic that's available when we can get together in a group and go, okay, I don't want to be 
I don't want to be the way that I thought I was supposed to be. I don't want to get up on stage anymore and freeze because I'm tongue-tied because of all the judgments coming at me. I want to get up on stage and I want to be me. And I want to let this thing and this being and this creature called me come out and contribute and be present with the audience. And I want to be able to tell jokes and, and be my weird self and and just be unapologetically me. Um, and Alan says, will it help with emceeing events? Definitely. For all of you, those of you who have been asked to MC for somebody's wedding, come along to Right Voice for you and you will be the greatest MC around. No, but I mean, it's just, it's really, it's so freeing. It's like if you can be you in the world, you can be you with anything. And access, you know, Right Voice for you is not about coming to Right Voice and learning to be a great singer or coming to Right Voice and learning how to become a famous actress. Um, it could help you with those things, but it's really about like being the being that you know that you are in the world. It's so magical and freeing when you can get on stage and you can be unapologetically you or when you can be in the grocery store in line and you can be unapologetically you and not have to have the significance of, of what it means to be you and not have to have the roles or the ideas about who you are, but to just be the, the unreserved, you know, unapologetic, just kind, different, weird, strange, mystical, magical being that you actually are okay so it is pretty cool it is pretty awesome and i am pretty excited to be bringing right voice for you to the world um, from my voice and you know there are so many amazing right voice facilitators out there um you know that are doing amazing and wonderful things and bringing these tools to people um you know there's carolyn sinclair in canada um, there's Ina in India and sort of Asia, like that part of the world. Um, there's Fiona Cutts, there's Yasadara, um, David Kubes, Sylvia Puentes. I mean, you've got all of these facilitators who are traveling the world and, and are choosing to empower people to be everything that they are. And, um, Gosh, it's just so exciting. I mean, there's just such a kindness um, to ourselves when we're willing to express that. Because we have to be really, really unkind to ourselves to come to a decision that it is not okay to be us in the world. Um, Dane here wrote a book called Being You, Changing the World. And it's like, that's what Right Voice for You is about. It's about being you in the world and having your voice in the world. And you know, I've, I in like, I've been facilitating access for eight years. And in the eight years that I've been doing this, you know, I've had ups and downs. And, you know, sometimes one of the things that I've done to shut off my voice in the world is to decide that I've figured things out, and that I've got things right. And when you decide that you've that you figure things out and you've got things right, what happens is you stop receiving from the universe and you start only pulling positive energy rather than pulling positive and negative energy. And really learning and mastering the energy flows is also a big part of um, being you in the world. And something we can very much discuss in the classes if that comes up, you know, that's something that I really like is um, working with the energy pulls and using them in a way that you understand them, you get them, you can be them at any moment, and you can be, you know, a thousand different energy flows if you're in front of a room of a thousand people, or if you're at a cocktail party with 50 people, you can be all the energy flows in the room. But it's like, it's like being that generative energy that is you, the being, is um, something that most people can't do and are not willing to do. So to me, it's amazing and fascinating to have a place where we can actually come 
and get an education, not just on public speaking, not just on telling jokes, not just on emceeing, um, uh, but also like the willingness to include everyone in what we're being, regardless of whether they judge us or not. Um, because most people are going to have some sort of idea about you or some sort of judgment about you. You know, one of the things that I was so grateful that Gary brought to my attention is that a lot of people have the point of view about me, you know, she shouldn't have that. And because I'm young and I've been able to use these tools and I've been able to um, create an awesome life for myself and been able to touch a lot of other people's lives, that that's not something that I should have at a young age. And people who are older who feel terrible about their lives or about what they've created go into a lot of judgment of themselves and a lot of judgments of me when they see that going on. And so, you know, what judgments do people have of you when you're being you in the world that, um, you know, you are not comfortable with and you are not willing to receive. And so you shut yourself down, you shut yourself off, you pack up your bag and go home rather than um, receiving that judgment. And, you know, there are wonderful receiving exercises um, that can be a part of the right voice for right voice class too. I mean, the classes are going to be based on the people who come and what they want to learn. You know, I'm not going to be in front of a room and thrust upon people what I want them to learn. You know, I want to be in front of a room. I want to be in front of a room and and facilitate what people in the room are asking for. So you know, that's why anything can come out of a right voice class. So, um, but it's like. Um, you know, receiving judgment and practicing receiving judgment is also an amazing tool of right voice for you um, because we tend to shirk away from judgment. I have. I know that I have had judgment come at me and I go, uh, okay, if you don't like this, if you, and this is all non-spoken, but I have got, I've gone, if you don't like this, if you're uncomfortable and if this, if what I'm doing and me being me is making you feel bad about what you haven't created in your life and what you don't like or what you don't like about yourself, then I'm going to stop doing what is fun for me and I'm going to stop what makes me happy because I don't want you to feel bad in any way. And that's something that's been very real to me. And, and, you know, in these, the, uh, these unspoken judgments that come at us that we, we really are not willing to, to look at or overcome. And it's just not your best choice. I mean, you can do it, um, but it's not a form of true caring. It's a form of judgmental caring. And, and true caring is when you are willing to, um, be you and not give up you for a relationship or not give up you because somebody goes, she shouldn't have that. That's not fair. I've worked my whole life. I've suffered. She shouldn't have that. Or if you're, you know, if you're being judged, um, Maria Jose is saying, uh, being young versus being old, the judgments. Yeah. And there's the judgments of like, she's too old. You know, once people get to be old, it's like they're cute now. You know, I had a friend who would always say old people were so cute and adorable. And I was like, that doesn't, hmm. like it always sat a little bit odd with me because, um, you know, there's a place where people start to, um, what's the word? Like, um, patronize old people or, you know, make old people into this cute thing who has no value in the world anymore. Um, and that is such an unkindness and such an invalidation of the being. Um, and, you know, judging somebody for being young is an, an unkindness and an invalidation. Judging somebody for being so beautiful that what would they ever have to say? Their only value must be how pretty they are. Or that person is so hideously ugly, what could they possibly contribute? Um, all of these are total just places where we are destroying our lives, essentially. And um, no form, no structure, no significance. And 
just getting who you are and getting what you're capable of and getting um, the the difference that you are in the world and letting that be heard. Because most people are not doing that. And, and when people are becoming their own, you know, coaches or singers or speakers or business owners, a lot of what I see is being done from pure judgment and pure conclusion rather than them being them and realizing that they can create their life and they can create a profit and they can create a wonderful possibility in the world um, being them. Because we're not taught that. We're taught you need to go to school, you need to go to college, you need to get a great job, and then you'll be okay. Not you get to be you in the world and get to be as weird and funny and silly and different and um, also intelligent. You know, how much do you hide your intelligence, um, you know, to not make the people around you feel stupid? How much do you hide your money-making capacity to not make people around you feel stupid? So um, it's just a different perspective and a different reality. And um, there's just such a different more kind way of living your life and being in the world. And I, um, I, <laughs> Alan says, me thinks I need this class. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like one of the things that, um, for me has been, um, really cool is to realize that there is a totally different way of functioning on this planet. You know, like Gary Douglas, the founder of Access, he does everything in a way that is totally different and he has a whole other set of rules and a whole other set of possibilities that nobody else is functioning from. And that's also what Right Voice is. It's just being you and looking at, I don't have to do it the way anybody else does it. What the hell could be possible? How could I actually do this? And how much fun could I have doing it? So. Most people not willing to have that. Most people want to be right, don't want to be judged. But for those of you who might be weird, who might be wacky, who might be interested in something different, I do invite you to write voice for you. There are wonderful facilitators out there in the world. And um, it is a wonderful class. And I am so excited to join the Right Voice family in December. Um, you know, for those of you also who are interested in, in being Right Voice facilitators, you know, there is this training, there is this possibility of Right Voice for you. Um, so it's exciting, it's fun, there's lots possible, and I welcome you guys to, to this different journey of taking the class, facilitating the class, or just being you in the world no matter what anybody has to think about it or say about it, and letting yourself the, have the permission to be the happiness, silliness, difference, weirdness, whatever it is that you are. So with that, thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, I look forward to seeing you somewhere around the world. And um, how does it get better than this? Bye, guys.